I'll get some makeup on this face because it's looking a little rough. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use, I don't have a lot of redness on my face, you all know this, um, but I do have red cheeks a lot. If you touch my cheeks, they get red. Um, but I'm going to use this new Mary Kay At Play Color Correcting Stick, and it's a green correcting stick, so it co corrects the red, and you can actually roll it up. You don't have to sharpen it. I mean, you'll have to sharpen it to get it sharp like this, but you don't have to, like, sharpen it down, um, if that makes sense. So, I am going to use this. Just to cover up my redness a little bit. Um, don't overuse the green. Because you don't need a whole lot of green on your face. <laughs> um, but since I do get red cheeks kind of often, I thought, let's do this and see how it covers up. Then, of course, I have my little red spots here and there. So, we'll try it on those as well. Y'all don't laugh at me when I tell you this, but um, today I shaved my face. Um, I've been doing this just to kind of help with makeup application. It looks a little bit better um, when you don't have all the peach fuzz on your face. So I'm not encouraging you guys to do this. Um, this was a personal choice. <laughs> um, but I did choose to... Um, shape my face and so it is a little bit more red in certain areas than in others so I just kind of blended that out just a tad I mean it's still green it's not like the green's going anywhere um but I did go ahead and blend that out I'm gonna go ahead and put some primer over top of it I may have should have done the primer first but I wasn't thinking this is my Mary Kay foundation primer okay so I got my primer on and I'm going to go in with foundation I'm gonna use my liquid foundation brush my foundation out on it dotted around my face I did go in with a darker foundation this time because I've been self tanning it is self tanning day so it doesn't match perfectly um but like I said it's time to self tan again time to redo it I'm going in with my concealer getting my translucent powder from Mary Kay. Just taking that everywhere. This was the powder I was using. I didn't show it to you before. <laughs> um, but this is just the translucent um, loose setting powder from Mary Kay. It's really good. Sorry, it's a little dusty. Um, but I really like it. It sets my uh, foundation and concealer really well. One of my, one of my faves. I'm going to get into my palette here for my face, and I'm going to use the Gilded Glow for bronzer. And my favorite blush at the moment is this. It's Juicy Peach. Once I push, once I put my blush on, sorry, how hair, here it is. <laughs> once I put my blush on, I like to just kind of go back over with my powder brush and just kind of diffuse it just a tiny bit. I just feel like it looks really good together that way. Now I'm going to do highlighter and I'm going to go into um, glazed. This is the glaze highlighter. 
and dip with my brush here. And I'm just going to go on the tops of my cheek here. I said it before, but I, I'll say it. I'll say it again. I think I say that phrase a lot, but um, I really like this highlighter because it's not like bam in your face and it just is nice. I like it a lot. Going to eyebrows. Spooly through those. I did wax my eyebrows today. I had been just letting them grow, but not anymore. I um, had a self-care, it's Saturday, so I had a self-care Saturday today. So I tried a little something different with each eyebrow, which is kind of crazy because you want them to match, but um, I just... I've been doing my eyebrows a little bit different and I wanted to kind of get y'all's opinion on them. So this way I did the um, brow tint and then I go in with the brow definer and kind of clean things up. But this way I've been going in with the brow definer, or I'm sorry, the brow liner. I apologize, I said that backwards. The brow liner. Um, so I make the line and I kind of, you know, sketch it out. Then I go back in with the brow tint over top, um, and I stay away from putting any brow liner on this inner portion just to kind of make it a little bit lighter and make them look more like actual eyebrows. Um, and so, you all tell me which one you like. This one's a little bit more fuller looking than this one, um, but this is my troublesome eyebrow, and I actually kind of think I like it better. So... That's just my opinion. But y'all tell me what you think. Um, I did put a little bit of concealer underneath um, just to clean both up. So, they're not too crazy. They're sisters, not twins. But <laughs> um, I just wanted to get y'all's opinion and take and see what y'all thought. Um, this one looks a little bit more bushy than this one. Um, but, yeah. Just vote on that. So, this is my right eye and this is my left eye. So, um, I don't know, I can't remember if the video flips it or not. So, um, y'all just say right or left. <laughs> I just love this blending brush. It's like one of my favorites ever. So, that's why I keep going back to it. I'm going to dip into this color here. It's called Biscotti. I'm just going to set my eye because it has that concealer on top. I'm just going to go over all of it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this color here. It's called Cinnabar. And just fluff that through the crease as well. Doing that with a light hand. This dark green here is called Emerald Noir. I have to say that's slow. I'll get a little tongue tied. I'm putting this in the outer V. I've been dying to dip into this into this color <laughs> and I have it for one reason it's a discontinued color they don't make it anymore <laughs> unless they bring it back for a special occasion anyway this right here is called golden peach it's beautiful and I'm gonna use it today <laughs> just because I love it so much um and I'm sorry I just love it but this is going in that center how pretty is that? I'm so into corals, so into peaches, and oh, it's just so pretty. <laughs> then I'm going to dip into this color here. It's called Gold Status. That's going on the inner part of the eye. Then I'm going to go into Crystalline. Crystalline. Put it on this inner corner. And brow bone. I 
actually think I might take Moonstone just because I want it to be a little bit more golden. Then I'm just going to go in with my eyeliner. Then I'm going in with my Lash Love Fanorama Mascara. And just because this eye looks a little bit outside of my box, we're going to do some false lashes today. I just put the glue on. I'm waiting it, waiting on it to get a little bit tacky. Then we'll put it on the lash. Put it on the eye. Not the lash. <laughs> so lashes are on. And I'm going to do my lips now. This is my old school favorite lip trick. Not trick, but this is just what I like to do. Um... I like to take the medium nude lip liner from Mary Kay and I will, it's not super sharp because I kind of feel in a little bit of my lips and I don't need precision. So I kind of really made a thick line <laughs> with my lip liner. And then I go with the Cafe Olay lip gloss And I take it and I finesse the lip liner. And of course, I coat the rest of the lip as well. And what that does is it just kind of gives like an ombre lip, but it's kind of a little bit darker too. But I get the question all the time, what color lipstick do you have on? What color lipstick do you have on? And that is like usually what it is. One last thing is I'm gonna do my my um, makeup finishing spray. That's for Mary Kay as well. But the whole purpose of this video was to show you some of these new products. Um, they've been out for a little bit, so this isn't like, they're just launching. They I've been out for about a month now and I'm kind of slacking on this, but one of them was this at play, um, color correcting stick. So if you have a problem with redness, this would be great, um, to help color correct. They also have this, which is actually sold out and it's been sold out basically since it came out. Um, and I should have showed you it <laughs> before I put my lipstick on, but it is a, um, a pH lip balm and so you put it on and the pH of your body changes the color so everybody's is basically pink it's it's just a different color pink so I thought that was kind of cool but again it's been sold out <laughs> basically since it came out so sorry about that unless they restock I don't know they may of course the lash love fanorama was one of the very things that was like everybody wanted and I do have some in stock. They're limited quantities, but I do have some in stock. So if you would like some, get your order in with me ASAP. That's what I use today. I absolutely love the stuff. Um, also, when we're talking about lashes, they have a limited edition Mary Kay um, lash curler. So if you need a good lash curler, I really like this. I really like the, um, the little rubber part here um, because sometimes you, of course you'll get a lash curler, you can go pick it up for cheap and it will feel cheap. Um, this one to me does not feel cheap and I really, the rubber on it doesn't make me feel like I'm going to pull out my eyelashes when I use it. <laughs> to me, that makes me feel like it's a really good eye, eyelash curler. Not necessarily you have to have one that says Mary Kay, but they do have them. They're limited edition and if you would like one, I can get you hooked up. Also, this is part of the Satin Body Collection. This is the Whipped Shade Cream. Oh my God, <laughs> it's amazing. I love the whole satin body collection. I don't know if I tell you guys that enough, but oh my gosh, it's amazing. But it is just like a body butter. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I put this stuff on my feet. I have, if you know me, I have like the driest feet in the world, in the world. And this stuff is amazing. And if you can tell, I've already been dipping into it. <laughs> I've already been using it quite a bit. I love this. Love it. I'll even put it on like my elbows to soften them up. And 
Mm, it still has that white tea and citrus scent, just like all the rest of it does. And it's just amazing. This is good stuff. So if you're into a lot of um, body butters and stuff, this is amazing. And especially if you love the um, white tea and citrus scent, but also all the satin body stuff you need this in your life. Let me tell you. They also have a special edition Mary Kay Sun Care After Sun Replenishing Gel. I've had this before, actually. This is from the website. If I don't scroll up <laughs> and you can actually see it. But this is, um, I've had it before. I thought I'd ordered it, but obviously I didn't. Um, but this is really good stuff, especially being out in the sun in the summer. Um, you know, even just out you know, doing things around the house and you get a little too much sun. This is really great. This is kind of like, um, the aloe that you would put on. It's really, really good. Um, and it feels your, makes your skin feel hydrated, but not sticky. That's what I really like about it. And then they also have, um, this, which is the, um, Sun Care Subtle Tanning Lotion. I've mentioned this in a video before. Um, this I use in between. I'm not as good as I should be about it. Um, and that's why my, my tan doesn't last as long as it should. And it doesn't look as good as it should. <laughs> if I use this more religiously, then it really better in between doing my self tan but anyway this is really good this is a subtle tanning lotion so if you don't want like you know and the, some self tanning lotions you'll see results in like two hours some it takes over you know like eight hours overnight um but this is a subtle tanning lotion and you'll see results in about a week from this and it's really amazing it smells oh so good it reminds me of actually going and laying in the tanning bed <laughs> <laughs> um, which I don't do anymore because I know that that's awful for you and you can get skin cancer. So I don't do that anymore, but this is what that smell does remind me of. It just reminds me of those lotions. So it's really great and, um, it does work. I just need to be more diligent about using it and then I would see results. And then finally, you all know about this. <laughs> this is something I love, something I use a lot of. Um, it's the Deep Cleaning Charcoal Mask from the Clear Proof line. Used it today. I absolutely love the stuff. It's amazing. It draws out all the impurities in your skin. Um, if you have a lot of acne, even as an adult, I have acne. Um, and this just draws it out. It makes my skin feel so clean. <laughs> just like I have really, truly cleaned my skin to really just you know deep cleaned exfoliated um even though it's not exfoliator it still makes it feel deep cleaned so if you order one of those while supplies last you can get one of these cute little towels it has eyelashes on it and it's Mary Kay <laughs> um and you get that completely free while supplies last so if you want to get one of these cute little towels um get your order in ASAP and we will get you uh, one of these charcoal masks and you can get your towel free. So, um, I just love this. I think it's absolutely adorable, especially the lashes. I mean, come on. Can you see the resemblance? <laughs> um, but it is just beautiful and I love it. And I will definitely be using it for my charcoal um, mask. And look at this. So, like, you can hang it on a hook. Is that not cool? Um, I've got hooks in my bathroom and I, I could just hang it there, which makes it even better. So this is just amazing and just so cute and I love it. But anyway, if you do use the charcoal um, mask, just something to know when you go to take it off. If you rinse it off in the shower, don't worry about it. If you do wash it off with just like a washcloth, don't use a light colored washcloth. I've actually ruined some of my white washcloths um, by taking it off with this and I would just wash it off, rinse it. It wouldn't completely come out and then I'd throw it in the wash, um, in the dirty clothes. And then when I go to wash it, it wouldn't completely come out because it had set for a little bit. So just a word of warning, you want to use a gray, dark colored cloth when you are taking this off. But it's so worth it 
it's, you know, go, go get a dark colored cloth just to take it off or just order one and you can get one free. So there are the new products. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late getting those out to you. I am um, slacking. But anyway, enjoy the video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this eye look. I really enjoyed it. I think it's so cute. I love the golden peach, that middle shade, a-okay. <laughs> if they ever bring it back, snag one because it is truly beautiful. I'm so into corals, especially for summer, and this just looks so pretty together, I think. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.